Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our X Unit video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about auto fixture once again. So the auto fixture is something that we saw in our earlier videos where we saw how auto fixtures help us to create the data and also it creates the data using the fixture something like this and also we saw how it can be used to create the data using the type like a register user model that we have created over here and how it actually worked. So the series actually started way back like two months before as you can see over here the GitHub lens tell me exactly what I have did two months before while I committed this code but now I'm restarting the same recording of the auto fixer once again to tell you even more detail like how you can customize the data that you are seeing over here. All right so in our last videos while we were discussing about the register user model which created and data and also how we customized the data over here like we want the email to be like kk at kk.com something like this and it was working pretty fine but now we are going to modify this even further but in a different way in much better fashion so what we're going to do this time is i'm just going to get rid of this fixture over here this time and i will tell you why i'm actually doing this instead of using this fixture we are going to make use of another way of doing or using the auto fixture so probably what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this whole code and i'm going to create it over here for the versioning purpose because we're going to check in this code on the github so let it be over here and i'm going to use what is called as an auto data attribute in x unit so what is that doing auto data attribute of the auto fixture so if you remember in our earlier videos we actually installed this guy the auto fixture.x unit 2 it actually provides another way to work with the data which is going to be nothing but the auto data attribute and this attribute if you just hit control dot you can see that it is going to come from using auto fixer dot x unit namespace and if we select this guy it is going to start working for us but because this is going to be a data and if you remember if you're going to use any of the data within our test method we shouldn't be using the fact rather we should be using what is called as theory of x unit and because we're going to customize the data and we're going to be passing the data within this particular test registered user auto data what i'm going to do is instead of using the fixture create which is going to be doing all these things over here I can get rid of all these things and I can directly call the register user model over here. So this way you can see that I can use this model to populate the data for me and it works pretty much as expected. So this way you can see that the code that we have used to write the uh, fixture over here is going to be completely gone and it's going to shorthand the way it is going to generate the code. So if we go back and see this out of at data attribute you can see that this auto data attribute actually is going to in turn call the uh, fixture which is going to in turn inject the data for you using the fixture method that we actually used i mean there is no implementation coming over here because this is just going to show the metadata of how it looks like but the implementation is quite interesting and useful for you to understand like how it is actually being designed so i'm going to talk about customizing the auto data in our upcoming videos but for now you can see that this is what it is going to be for our data and if i try doing this dot net of uh, build just to build the whole project and let's go to the uh, testing over here and you can see that we have the selenium with auto fixture coming up and let's try refreshing this it discovers all our tests and over here i have the one with the test registered user with the auto data so let me try running this time it opens the browser and it should be entering the details pretty much like how we expect and you can see that the test has got passed over here and let me also try seeing if the data which it has inserted is right or not so let me go to my i class fixture of the web driver fixture and instead of disposing so that I don't close the driver straight away, let me try running it once again. Oops, we're going to get a build failure because we have used the idispose uh, interface there. So probably I will just comment this particular code alone. And let's try running it again. There we go. It opens up. 
it enters these data for us, which is quite interesting. So you could see that with very, very few code change, we actually could able to perform the same operation that we tried doing it over here to enter the details within our test method over here. But now you got a question like, how do I really customize the data that I'm inserting in? Because in our last video, we actually saw, we customized this auto fixer data using the, uh, using the emails like this, like we went to the property of this particular register user model and we customized it using the width method, uh, something like this, and we did that. But now this is not gonna happen over here. How do I customize this? And this is something which we'll be discussing in our next video.